What's going on guys? Roger here, QVO Tactical. Today we are checking out the Kimber KDS 9C, so let's get into it. Alright guys, first rounds through the Kimber KDS 9C, the uh, double stack 1911 hammer fire gun. Got this nice uh, bevel back here in the grip and a pinned uh, beaver tail. And uh, I'm rocking, I'm trying out this new optic, the uh, FX V22 Pro from Fox Army, the guys we worked with on a previous video. But uh, let's see how the combo does. Here we go, first uh, 10 rounds. Shooting some uh, cardboard 10 yards out. Take a look at the hits. That felt really good. A um, little bit of recoil, came right back. We have been shooting out here on the range all day with uh, our QVO thumb cliff. So definitely a little weird shooting without that, but these are the first two rounds. Saw those, boom, right through and through. And then I'll get the optic zeroed here at 10 yards in a bit. I just uh, lined it up and co-witnessed uh, to the irons, but I'll take this all day long. Bunch of uh, centerline A-zone shots. I'm gonna have Gil, Landon, Jay, I'm gonna have them try it out, see what they think. All right, Landon, I believe this is one you've been waiting for, right? Uh, long time coming, man. I'm excited to... You guys just got these in, yeah? Yeah, we did. One two-tone, or one stainless and one black. Uh, but yeah, long time coming, man. I'm excited. How'd it feel? I don't want to overhype it, but uh, it's pretty much exactly what I was hoping it was going to be like. Um, there's more to come. I'm excited to run a couple drills with it and give you my actual impressions, but first off, uh, shoots really good. Trigger's really nice. It's pretty uh, good grouping there. Pretty much matched up with you. Stuck them all in uh, right in the heart. Uh, I'm thinking the optics a little off, but obviously we didn't zero it yet, yep. so we'll get that adjusted, and um, I'm pretty excited for this review. All right, we got California compliant Jay up now. <laughs> Is that my name now? It's gonna be, until you move. You guys are teasing me too much. You can tell when Jay likes a gun because he'll actually dump the whole mag. <laughs> I, I haven't been dumping my yeah. own though. <laughs> I mean, it shoots really nice. Um, I haven't shot like a 19 or 1911 or 2011 platform in a long time. Just a lot of polymer guns. But, you know, you could obviously tell it's a different experience. Uh, the, the build quality is very nice. Um, obviously, as they mentioned, the optic isn't zeroed. But, um, and again, just like Roger, we've been shooting with a thumb cliff. So, you know, it, it, the optic is bouncing a little bit more. So it's, it's taking a little bit more time for it to come back. But it feels really good. All right, we got Gil up now. First round's Kimber KDS 9C, bud, go for it. Go ahead and shoot a little more out of another mag. Or a lot more. Sorry. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's, it's nice. I mean, I right at the bat, I did like the ergos of it a lot. I feel like with my hand, it just grips it very naturally, and I was able to stay on target with it. I did like it. All right, 10 yards out. We're gonna get this optic dialed in real quick. So I shot four rounds. I'm gonna go off these three right here as they're the better group. Um, let's go one, two, three inches up. One, two, three, and then uh, let's see, two and a half left. So 
So we got two here <laughs> and we got two here. I'll adjust off of here. So up one, left a quarter inch. All right, so clearly the previous group was here because all of that is this big old blob here. I'll adjust off of there and we should be good to go. All right guys, now the first round's out of the way, definitely gonna jump into our favorite drill, the build drill. Let's see how we do, here we go. Seven yards from concealment. Woo, a little bit of trigger freeze there and I dipped down, but I did get a time of 283. I think that was a 153, best split was a 0.17, and I did see that dip down shot. So I got one, two, three, four, five, but I went down, oh, there it is, six. So I could feel myself dip down when I trigger froze, and that's where I broke that shot. So let me see if I can do a little bit better than that. Woo! Threw one up in the head. Uh, I got a 235. Best was a one six. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five, and then up in that cheekbone. I'm gonna go one more time. Two thirty six. And one, two, three, four, five. Where are you? Where are you? I saw a six hit here. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe, oh, six, duh, right there. Cool, six clean for a 236. Landon, you're up. All right, Landon's up, here we go, stand by. Fluff to get out of the way, but we're gonna make it happen. All right, Landon's up. Here we go. Stand by. Mean trigger freeze. We hope for that. Going for that head box. <laughs> we really worked our way up there. One, two, three, four, five. Six is going to be Under. bang. So in the gun industry, it's called stitching them up. Where you start from one point and you work your way up. That wasn't intentional. Uh, hopefully, we're actually going to keep it here on this next one. But it worked. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! What was the time on that? 263. Best split was a 0 .15. 0 .15. That was blazing, man. Let's see the hits. One, two, three, four. We were all to the left. We all worked to the left. Yeah, five, five, six. Six. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So, so you, st you stitched left instead of going up. Left, yeah. We're, we're going to migrate back into the center <laughs> on the third run and we're going to get a clean run. Right, Roger? Seven rounds. Best split of 0.16. Total time 349. Let us see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Lucky number seven. I don't see any out, so it's in. <laughs> Three, four, five, six. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. It's gotta be a double up somewhere. Yeah. Oh, right here, seven. Oh, okay. Double up. Oh. You uh, cleaned see, it up, that's all you said. You said you were gonna clean it up. I said I was gonna clean it up. I didn't say faster. <laughs> but one thing at a time. We don't have to multitask here. Here we go. Terrible. Got a uh, 366. I don't even see my shot. He's like, I don't want to see the shot. I see three. I know I threw One, it One, two, three, four, five. I threw it left for sure. All right, six. Yeah. They're all on the cardboard. You would have hit the bad guy. Let's go again. Nice. 346. How we looking target wise? Not as fast as the QBO boys, but one, two, three, four, five, six. But clean. Yes, sir. Hey, oh. Three, 
353, best split was a .23. How are we looking, Gil? I'm not gonna lie to you, I kinda lost the dot. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, I did see one probably goat right here. Six, there you go. Yeah. Mark them up, let's clean it up. That looked, like, that looked better. Okay, it's better, but I can still see my shots go, pulling over here to the left. Gotcha. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Five, six. Yeah, but they're all in. Hey, oh. 295 clean from concealment dog. Good job. All right. All right guys, here's an up close and personal look at the Kimber KDS 9C trigger. Very little take up, which is something I can appreciate. Feels like three and a half, four pounds maybe for the wall. The reset, nice short and crisp, tactile audible, can feel and hear it. And yeah, overall really good trigger. Um, you guys know I love my 1911 triggers. This one is no exception to that. You can get off these fast and uh, quick shots and it still allows you to prep to that wall and know where to stop if you don't need to take that shot. So I'm definitely digging it. Very nice trigger out of the box. It's cold, it's windy. Let's play the backup game. 50 yards out, here we go. You get three shots. First shot, two-handed, you miss. You go strong hand, you miss. You go other strong hand. 50 yards out, Kimber KDS 9C, eight inch mini A zone. Hey -o. Strong hand only now. Other strong hand. Use my foot pretty soon. <laughs> Landon redeems himself. I'm a lefty. You're a lefty. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> All right, Jay. Ah. Maybe I'm a lefty too. Let's find out. No. Nope. You are eliminated, sir. Oh, strong hand. Up, oh, other strong hand. No pressure. Gills out. Back to 75 we go. It's still cold, still windy, but we're now at 75 yards and me and Landon are still in the game. You know, I think we all got to do it on the first shot. <laughs> I think Ryder's shooting the big target. Yeah. Yeah, I, <laughs> you want that extra mag now? Shoot it verified. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, first shot as well. Cut. Pan down over there. Look at that target. So they know we're all the way at 75 here. And it's windy and it's, it's cold. cold. <laughs> I would have had a cliff bar today. <laughs> All right, 115 yards now, here we go. Shit. This is scary, shooting between the trucks single-handed now. You don't need that, you don't need that, uh, oh, no ambi safety on this, one thing I don't like. So let me switch the safety off, then transfer it over to my other strong hand. All right, you just gotta hit Landon and you're the winner. Hey, what were you holding? <laughs> <laughs> I was holding super low. Just kidding. Oh, oh 115 oh. first try. Nice. Timber KDS9. Available at your local shop today. Sponsored by Ventura Munitions. And because Landon just won that, they're going to give him one, right? Correct. Thank you right? so much. Thanks, Mikey. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> All right, guys, so for me, the emphasis of this gun would be for concealed carry. So with that, I want to try a couple of uh, defensive style drills. That being the failure drill, you guys all know it, two to the chest, one to the head, Mozambique, whatever you want to call it. And I'm just going to run some for time, see how we do. Here we go. Stand by. Two. 
two in the heart, one just under the nose for a 272. Let's see if I can speed that up a little bit. Where'd I throw that one at? That second one, I felt it go right. I might've thrown it super low and right. But uh, one in the heart, one there, and then one mic. Let's go one more time. Woo! Two dead center grouped in the heart and one straight to the nose. Four times, two, two, four. So best run, two, two, four. And one, two, three. That's what I'd like to see with that thing. Yeah, the gun's definitely doing the work, man. Like, the thing is accurate. You guys saw us playing around with the, uh, the backup game, landing, hitting a shot all the way at 100. That uh, initial groupings that we did in the very beginning intro in the head box. So accuracy with the Kimber KDSNC, I would say is definitely spot on. I'm gonna have uh, Landon try this drill and see what he thinks. Heart, lung, straight between the eyes for a 314. Let's go again, stand by. Lung, lung, between the eyes for a 263, nice. And last one, stand by. Whew, 248. 248. And clean shots again, lungs and eyes. So all three runs, super clean, man, here. Clean hits. The one thing, and it's definitely, I'm, I mean, I've always said this every episode, but it's the shooter. like. Going from a gun without a manual safety to a gun with a manual safety, a lot of guys who don't shoot a lot, they'd be like, what's the difference? Well, you gotta remember to flip that thing off during your draw stroke while trying to have a super sick draw for the camera and make <laughs> your hits. Um, so that's my excuse. Honestly, the draw, I'm sure on the timer it'll show. But that first shot's probably like over a second. Let's see, first Maybe shot, 1.74. Yeah, 1.74 versus like strike fire guns or whatever. Dude, just grip and rip you know sure but at the same time you're clearing two garments it's cold <laughs> you're doing it from concealment and a 174 i mean no you're wrong we can all hit our sub second you know times but at the same time to be able to do all of that in under two seconds in it's probably what like 40s right now Real for us here in vegas guys that's freezing <laughs> i'm from hawaii so this is more line <laughs> detrimental to my health you know what i'm saying but i'll take that all day long the gun's ripping and um can't wait for the next drill all right, guys, here are your specs on the Kimber KDS-9C. All right, the all-new KDS-9C from Kimber is their newest 1911 style hammer-fired semi-automatic handgun. It's made from 7075 aluminum. It comes in stainless steel or black. The slide is made from stainless steel and features front and rear cocking serrations, as well as optic plates in the RMSC Hollow Sun 507K style footprint. You're gonna notice these gray and black G10 crosshatch grips as well as a reversible magazine release so the lefties can switch it to the other side. The trigger is a nice three and a half to four and a half pound trigger pull and the gun will come with two 15 round magazines all at an MSRP of just under $1,500. One thing to note about the barrel is that it is fully fluted, crowned, and ramped, utilizing Kimber's proprietary bore sizing process, which delivers match grade accuracy with every shot. Something that we definitely noticed when shooting the head box grouping that we did earlier, as well as Landon's 100 yard uh, shot on the mini eight inch A-zone oh, steel target. All right guys, now in regards to the holster that we're using out on the range, this is our QVO Tactical Inside the Waistband More Discreet Holster. This holster is actually for a 2011 4.25 inch model, but we found that with the Kimber KDS 9C's footprint, it actually fit the holster perfectly, clicking and locking in, retaining well. The holster features multiple points of adjustable retention. It is designed to work with suppressor height sights and optics as you see here. Additionally, the holster comes with an included wing which pushes up against your belt to reduce printing of the grip, making the gun conceal better. Lastly, this holster features one of our unique fabric overlay designs, which is the Aloha Tan option. This gives the holster a very nice aesthetic matching the overall function. All right guys, Kimber KDS-9C, final thoughts, go for it. Uh, well, right off the bat with me, after, I mean, shooting 1911s and 2011s on the channel here, uh, to me, it just feels more natural. To me, so shooting this camera just felt natural to me. It was 
You like that wider grip? The wider grip and it's just concealable. Man, I mean, it was a nice gun. Fun gun to shoot. Break it down, Landon. I don't know what to do with my hands sometimes. Um, Same. Ergonomics. Honestly, that's this gun in general. It's solid. Like when you grip the gun, it locks in and uh, it's not going anywhere. The trigger, I wasn't that happy with it in the beginning, but there is a breaking period for that. And now, I mean, go out and try one. Stop by your local gun shop, check one out. The trigger is really good. Um, it is lighter. I mean, it's probably as light as some like your Palmer frame guns. Yeah. Like I carry a macro and this is probably relatively the same weight, but I'm a trigger snob. So I would prefer to have something like this over a striker fire gun. Um, striker fire guns still have their place. Um, I was on the struggle bus with the manual safety, but that's just something I need to get used to. Uh, it's not a fault to the gun, but yeah, I think if you actually go into a shop and check one out, you'd be pretty happy at how it fits your hand. You guys said you'd be getting a lot of calls over Ventura about them, right? Yeah, and then we finally got two in, so help us out, come pick one up. Uh, another thing too, some guns with fully loaded magazines, I've noticed, like when you try to insert that mag, you actually need to physically whack that gun. The KD, KDS-9, that's yep. not the case. You can literally just gently push the mag, it'll insert, lock in, and that's gonna really help you out like for with speed reloads on the range and not look like an idiot you thought you inserted the mag, you punch out and the mag drops and no bullets. Uh, so I've been waiting for this gun a long time. I, it was worth the hype. I really like this, especially for the price point they come in at. Um, they're punching up for sure. Sure, I really like the gun. All right, Jay, final thoughts. What do you think on this uh, ever so California compliant gun? I was just gonna say, <laughs> you know, my, the first thing is I wish I could have one. Uh, I'm not quite sure if it's on the roster or not, but if it is, it's something that I would definitely pick up. Uh, to be honest, like I'm, I'm a fan of the 1911 and 2011 platform. Um, it's actually my first fall, uh, my first uh, big deep part into the gun industry. And just shooting this after coming from all the full size uh, guns, I thought it would be like kind of unwieldy and not very, it'd be hard to manage, but that wasn't the case. Um, and after shooting a lot of uh, polymer guns, Going to like a nice crisp uh, trigger like this, it made a world of difference. Nice. I'll break it down to straighten the pros and cons for you guys. Uh, pros for me, um, I'm liking that optic cut. You know, it's it's good to see, you know, Kimber's been around for a long time, so it's good to see them bringing in, let's do a double stack 1911 with an optic cut. The ergonomics of the grip, uh, to me, it's kind of a mix between like those old Smith & Wesson slash Beretta style grip. Like it's wider, it's a little meatier, but it fits in the hand really well. Uh, the pin beaver tail, um, I'm liking the mag capacity, I'm liking the light weight of it. Um, I'm still liking that it holds true to like the classic form and figure of a 1911 as well. Um, but yeah, the trigger, trigger out of the box is great to me. Um, I did notice that like after maybe the first 150 rounds, as we got more into the 200 and like 250 round mark, the trigger really just kind of hit that breaking period and was good to go. Um, things I don't like, I need a light rail, I need an ambi safety. Uh, in my opinion, with 2024 20, now, um, I think if you're making a 1911, double stack, single stack, whatever, it should just have those things. You know, to me, the, 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 the likelihood of me shooting with my other strong hand, maybe it's not likely, but it is possible. And having that there is something you guys saw when I had to switch over. You know, I had to hit the safety, disengage it first with my right hand before moving into the left hand. And the other thing too is I like to run lights on everything I carry, so I'd like to see a light rail version. But other than that, like this thing, it, it functions really well and aesthetically it looks amazing. Um, I definitely like the whole clean aesthetic of this all the way down like these stone wash grips. So yeah, Kimber, good job with this. I'm liking it for sure. Anybody that's thinking about getting it, I would consider this for um, concealed carry purposes. That's what I would look into it for. So if you're looking for one, I know Ventura's got two like Landon said, but other than that guys, let us know what your uh, thoughts and comments are down below. We appreciate you guys checking out the video. Definitely like, subscribe, um, and let us know. Again, I talked about this in the previous video with the new format, how we're just kind of knocking everything out here on the range uh, to be more efficient and get you guys more content. As always, appreciate you watching. We'll see you in the next one.